drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. We got breaking news going left and right. First of all, just going to throw it out there. The Red Sox have agreed with Alex Cora to go ahead and part ways. Alex Cora dealing with this whole investigation. He was going to get suspended. He probably still will, but it's not going to be a big deal because he's not going to be on a team to get suspended from. He will just get suspended for the next time he signs with a team, if he ever does. So Alex Cora, and I don't know if that suspension technically is going to happen but i assume it is and we'll find out once that investigation to the 18 red sox go down so we'll find out about cora he and the red sox will be parting ways so the red sox are going to need a manager but the bigger news in my opinion because it's actually baseball related and not this craziness i mean it's all baseball related but we're not talking about crazy cheating anymore we're talking about a team actually getting better and that's the minnesota twins they have signed third baseman josh donaldson donaldson comeback player of the year I, I think he won the award if not he should have because he had an amazing year in 2019 with the Braves and he came back after a couple years of injuries left and right he came and tore it up with the Atlanta Braves I believe he hit 37 bombs and uh, he was out on the free agent market it seemed like the Braves were going to re-sign him but I was looking at the Braves I was talking about the Braves and uh, just a couple videos ago and I didn't think the Braves absolutely had to re-sign him I thought it actually wasn't the best idea and um, the Minnesota Twins decide they want to get him and I think the Twins on the other hand might need to make a move like this because I've been talking about the White Sox and the White Sox are improving and their power is off the charts and the Twins to repeat a type of season they had last year where they won over 100 games they're gonna need some more power to compete with a team like the White Sox and they just got it in Donaldson don't get me wrong the Twins got plenty of power and I've gone through their lineup as well but now they just added a ton more with Josh Donaldson. And when you look at their team, you see guys like Max Kepler. You see guys like Miguel Sano. You see guys who have power, who can hit. Rosario out in left field hit over 30 bombs. But they just needed another power bat in there really to solidify that lineup and bring an extra bat in there that's going to help them compete for another AL Central Championship. They had guys like Marwin Gonzalez at first base, but uh, Marwin Gonzalez to me might be better suited as kind of a, I don't know, a role player or someone who can start on occasion, but you probably wanted someone with a little more thump in there. They're going to have to move some guys around, but now when you put Josh Donaldson in the mix, I assume he'll be at third base, figure out where Sano's going to play, or, you know, they might make some deals and everything. Oh, I forgot to mention Nelson Cruz, obviously, is the DH. So this team is going to be really good offensively. They now have a ton of power with between Kepler, Rosario, and you got Sano with Cruz, and now Josh Donaldson this team is going to be very powerful and of course their rotation is nothing to joke about I mean Barrios Odorizzi and they just made a couple of signings with Rich Hill and Homer Bailey who are going to help out as well and they also got a solid bullpen Taylor Rogers is a beast at closing games and guys like Duffy Sergio Romo's coming back Clippard can pitch they got some options there in the bullpen so they are a pretty loaded team and this is a team that's coming in with confidence into 2020. A team now with Josh Donaldson. And I said Josh Donaldson. This is a four-year deal. The deal is reportedly worth $92 million. I just got the information. $92 million, A little less than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be about $100, $100 million plus. So um, I think it's a pretty good deal knowing that. I thought that the Braves were going to pay out $100 plus million well north of 100 million you know 22 million a year something like that and it was gonna be crazy and i just didn't think it was a good deal for the braves and i thought you know i liked austin riley i saw austin riley play he's the braves young uh, prospect third baseman who can really play i mean he can hit from what i saw when he came to san francisco he tore it up the guy was absolutely amazing but having said that he had struggles down the stretch i've been told he can't hit a curveball and if he can't hit a curve or not, excuse me he can't hit a slider probably struggles with curveballs too but he can't hit a slider I mean what's the point if he's going to strike out all the time I get it but uh, I was really impressed with Austin Riley I thought you know hey this is a freaking young prospect you got throw him in there you know he's not going to do much worse than Donaldson's going to do and you're not going to have to pay 100 million bucks but for the Twins, who need to compete with the White Sox, this is a move to really bolster that lineup for 2020. I don't know how the deal's going to work out in 2021, 22, 23. It might be a terrible contract. It might be completely regrettable, but the Twins are going for it. They just made the playoffs last year with an awesome season. But as per usual, 
they couldn't make it to the World Series. Well, this year, the Twins are tired of that crap. They want to get back in the Fall Classic. They want to compete for a freaking championship. So they're going for it with Josh Donaldson. He has signed with the Twins. And I've been really high on the White Sox, but the Twins are no joke. They are nothing to be messed with. And, of course, the Cleveland Indians are not to be forgotten either. So it's going to be a crazy competitive American League Central in 2020. Congratulations to the Minnesota Twins and to Josh Donaldson for a awesome contract and he deserves it for that last year he had i was talking about how I, I wouldn't necessarily give it to him if i was a gm but some team is going to pay him and he deserves it because he had a great year and he proved he can still play i remember going into 2019 people were like josh donaldson was old news josh donaldson was on the cover of what the show 2016 or something like that i mean boom he's back and now he's one of the biggest free agents on the market and i really hope it works out for him i hope he can give the twins at least two good seasons if not three if not four. So awesome signing Minnesota Twins. I hope it works out for y'all and that y'all can compete in 2020 and maybe win another 100 plus games. That would be insane for the Twins. And uh, it's going to be a crazy American League Central. I'm going to be following it very closely, as close as I can as a Giants fan. But I still like to follow all of baseball and the Twins they just got a lot better, assuming Donaldson can come back and have a similar year, and I really hope he does. I'm a little nervous about it because you never know. He signed a one-year deal with the Braves. He tore it up to get this contract. Is he going to go in there a little bit, a little more injury prone? I don't know what to expect. Hopefully, age doesn't get to him. Hopefully, he goes out there and performs. Minnesota Twins, Josh Donaldson, a huge shock. We're getting shocked left and right. Boom, Astros getting freaking suspensions left and right, firing people. Now, boom, Red Sox, see you later. Alex Cora, gone. And now the Twins, five seconds later, bam, it happens. Josh Donaldson, not to the Braves, not to the Rangers, not to the Cardinals, but the Twins. Wow. Thank you guys for joining me so much today. I had to drop the news. I think it's really a good signing for the Twins. I think they need a guy like that if they're going to go for the World Series and they're going to go for it. They're going for gold this year. Twins, White Sox, Indians, the Central, AL. Going to be nuts. Watch it. Thank you again. Hit the subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. Please, if you haven't, please. Just kidding, but it would be awesome if you could. Have a fantastic day, everybody, and I'll talk to you later. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's fine.